we are under attack, we are under attack, we are So I was searching in my Pelosame and I found this beautiful miniature. This is Bolt Action Warlord's miniature. HQ 8th Army in Desert Rats, North Africa. It's beautiful. It's like it's telling me a story. This miniature here. This official is feeding this beautiful monkey. And uh, I really wanted to take this as a challenge to learn and give a hundred percent of me to one miniature, not to the whole army, but this beautiful miniature. So I'm gonna try to make some diorama. Okay, for the foundation, we need to use non-heavy materials. I think that's the key. All that base shouldn't be heavy, very heavy. That's why we're using this kind of material. Okay, this is one of the most important things I think, and that's the composition. That's gonna make our miniature to pop out or to be like lost in the diorama. I think we need to have some balance between the elements in the di diorama and the miniature. We want to be the miniature to be the center of the attention. So we must compose this. It's very much like taking a picture. You want some elements in some sectors of the frame. For the desert terrain, I use beach sand. It's free. I also put some pine bark. In the search of giving more textures to the floor, I open some holes and add some pine bark to it. It's gonna give a new textures and gonna add some levels of the ground that's gonna be more natural to the eye, I think. I hope. I pray. Okay, for finishing the ground texture, I add more hobby sand this time for a, with a bigger caliber than the, than the beach sand. When I remember this kind of palm trees, I, I think they have these roots getting out the, the ground. So I mix some green stuff and I start to try to model some roots on those palms. Nothing hard, just some roots and try to make them look natural. And and then another thing that these palm trees are lacking for be uh, for them to be more natural and that's the dry leaves the dry leaves they they tend to be hanging off the palm tree and they tend to accumulate there so so i try to add them with some paper cut it but this was kind of fail and i went back to the green stuff to where I'm comfortable with. Painted that base 
with a really watery color. I want that paint to cover all good. And I, I deep dry brush the palm tree, painted the leaves. As they were too shiny, I add them some matte varnish. Other other thing that I love of historic miniatures, there is no just painting the miniature, playing, there is also searching in the web, learning, investigate, search and investigate and learn about the uniform colors. I don't want to paint it like a monkey from South America, from India, I want to paint a monkey that were in North Africa at that time. That's really challenging and that's something that I love and I think it adds more to the hobby. So, and that's a really cool thing to do. And, and, and I really enjoy it. The uh, miniature was primed on gray. And I start to put its color base coat with very thin down. Uh, base color almost everything before I go for the uniform that is the our key element or biggest element okay choosing coat you know okay i started to paint each base color so i can see the balance of the miniature so, I, so we can evaluate what we can do what we can push forward later and and Okay, I started to paint color by color, thin coat, until we have a uniform base coat of each color. So I can evaluate more where to put more contrast, where we need the lights and, and everything. In the British Army in bolt action, the, the forward observer, the artillery forward observer, referral observer, tends to be really important and is uh, really power, powerful. I see this guy playing with that monkey. Oh, the monkey, monkeys, monkey, beautiful monkey. So I don't really see him in the middle of a battle, like with explosions everywhere and give them, giving them the right coordinates to to a artillery barrage <laughs> of the this is one of the my favorite details the sweat on the shirt like it's heat as hell after the washes i give them another layer of the same color and then i go for the highlight for the skin i'm gonna try for the first time some oils i went magenta for the skin i must say it was really fun to work with the oils it was really fun to see how the oil behave and how it's different from the washes or the tints. Okay, imagine the skin of an English soldier that only knows what rain is under the North African sun. It will be sunburned at least at the first month. That in places the miniature really well to the context and the background. I was
was happy enough. I don't think you never finish a miniature that you must do. To finish it, we fix the miniature to the diorama. I should have done this before, but I forget it. So we need to do it without screwing the miniature. I drill a hole on it and put some wire to fix the miniature well, very well to the diorama. Final touches and make the miniature like it's not floating there and fix it to the ground. Okay, final touches to avoid the miniature look like it's floating from the ground. Very nice miniature, storytelling. I'm pretty happy with the finish. I should do more di diorama place it miniatures. It's really fun. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a like and subscribe for more content to come. I hope it inspires.